Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this is one of those videos that I don't think many people are going to actually benefit from. Um, because the the actual like impacted people is pretty slim, but I'm making the video anyway because someone out there will watch this and get helpful help from it. Um, I gotta find my, my thing, oh there it is. So this here is a, uh, the soft luggage adapter plate from Jesse Luggage. Um, I got this used on Adventure Rider about two, two and a half years ago or so. Um, here's one side of it, which is the flat side for the R1200GS, obviously, but this works with any Jesse rack that you have. And then here is the exhaust side, um, soft luggage plate. So the exhaust side obviously is offset, but you'll notice right here that my exhaust side is actually peeling away from that a little bit. It's got a little bit of bolting here, but this is bending a little bit with a, uh, with weight. So um, when I took my my version one Backcountry 35 Moscow Moto panniers off of this, I um, I noticed the bend. I also noticed a couple of the um, the rubber pieces were failing. And so uh, I thought to myself, I'm gonna sell this to someone that um, can use it for like $100. And I think I paid like 150 for it. And then um, I'm, I'll buy the new version of this because they have a v2 that, that had come out about two years ago i don't know if they're going to keep making this for a long time there's been two in stock on their website and so i don't know if they're still making this but um i'm going to compare the v1 with the v2 for you guys now one other thing i want to do one thing i wanted to add when I called Matsumoto up to order some stuff, they said, we just noticed you just ordered one bag and not the kit. Uh, what, are you, what are you mounting these to? And I said, to the, um, the Jesse Salt luggage adapter plate. And they said, I'm, paraf I'm paraphrasing, but this is their words. I'm leaving some out. Um, We're glad that solution worked for you, but we don't recommend it. So, I guess they're alluding to the fact they probably won't cover the warranty on it if uh, if it fails. I I don't know why, to be honest. Uh, I don't. But um, so I guess just word of warning: if you're buying the bag and the hardware kit and these things uh, because you have a Jesse rack and you want to switch between the Challenger or the Odyssey hard boxes and Moscow Moto bags, um, they don't recommend it. Um, Maybe they don't recommend V2 of the design and V1 is fine. I had this on my bike for two years and it was fine. No problem. So I don't know. Uh, but they're glad it worked out for me and they don't recommend it. All right. So here's the uh, V1 and V2 plates compared. So thickness is the same. Uh, the V2 has the, um, the, the newer uh, mount that you see on the Challenger boxes. It also has the newer um, uh, hardware here that you, they have on their Challenger boxes. It has more holes. It looks as if for the Moscow bags, you, so you use these six holes. Um, so for the Moscow bags, look, it still has the six holes, but the ones in the middle are cut out a little bit larger, which if you don't install it correctly, it might lead to a little bit of shaking. Uh, but other than that, this would also obviously work with other vendors' uh, plates. It also has on the inside here the... Um, the newer, uh, more simpler connectors. Like this this thicker um, head right here used to actually push into my Moscow bag and offset it a little bit when I screwed it down. And this is a little bit, you know, closer to the uh, the body. Uh, weight, this feels about four ounces lighter than, the, uh, than this one, probably likely due to this thing being smaller. Let's go over to the offset one. See what they did now with that design. All right, so here is the new uh, offset luggage side plate. So um, yeah, again, smaller here, nicer here, nicer bolts. I'll show you the other one in a second. Uh, they've lost the rubber pieces. You also have the, um, the, the well, they're not flat, but they're flatter uh, heads here. 
You can still access this area for tool storage. This is where I keep um, my tool roll that's in a waterproof thing, but also a uh, moto pump and my battery. So it's a nice little extra like five, four, four or five liters of storage. Um, but the way they've designed this now is it looks like they, they didn't do a bonding. So mine started pulling back here. So it's not bonded there, but they definitely made the angles a little bit sharper. And maybe when that's, because basically what's happening is when this is mounted, it's pulling here, which kind of pulls away at this seam. So on the original one that I had, here's the original offset, um, the pressure that's here is pulling back and it's making this, basically you see my move my finger, it's moving back away. And all that's holding it in is just these four bolts here. Um, so a fix, because it's aluminum, would be to remove these four bolts and then take this away and kind of redo that bin and maybe put some kind of a, 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 um, a glue adhesive in there. But uh, again, I'm just replacing it. But here's where the tool storage was. Um, and it used to have, on the inside here, little rubber, rubber things. Those are gone now. So those are absent. And to be honest, they actually never touched the, uh, the, OE, the, the rack. So here's the, uh, the new offsets compared side by side. Again, um, one looks to have just holes for the Moscow luggage, the six bolts here, and the, uh, the new one has a few more bolts added with these two being longer in the dead center. But you still have those four circles for the outside of the Moscow bags and two in the center. So, um, oh, another thing they did too. Oh, that's nice. On the original, these two in the center that you needed for the Moscow Back with G35s uh, were only accessible on the back side of this. So it's, it's a four millimeter Allen turning it like one quarter of a turn at a time because I don't have special tools to get that in there. And now with this one, they've cut it, they've tapered it so much you can install it. That's gonna save me like 25 minutes. <laughs> it's little things. Um, presumably there's only one of the, one set of these now in stock on uh, jesseluggage.com. And uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of an exclusive here. Jesse Luggage has been sold again. So Sean bought it from Al Jesse like three years ago. And now another guy has bought it from Sean. Uh, and I saw jesseadventures.com was registered, so they're probably going to have some kind of a new thing going on pretty soon. I wish them all the luck. I love their stuff, so uh, I really hope that whatever they do, it makes Jesse secure and keeps the company around for a long time because it's made in freaking USA, and uh, we need more of that right now. So anyway, I'm going to get this uh, the Moscow bags installed in this now um, in a, another separate video. But uh, this is in the side-by-side -side of the V1 and the V2. Pretty nice. I love these new mounts. They're like much harder than the uh, than the old ones. Much nicer. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks, Jesse Luggage, for sending these to me like really fast. Like the same day I ordered them. That's kind of down to the wire on this whole trip here.